All right, now we have that extruder assembled and it was very fun to do. And I want to show you something that's going to happen next. And that's going to be that's going to be awesome. So we're going to take that Goliath right here. Hold on. We're going to take that Goliath. And what's going to happen is that we're going to get rid of that heat sink. And to do that, um, very simple. Uh, let me just uh, undo this. I'm going to remove the heat sink. So I'll fast forward this part. Also, what we're going to do since this heat break is the one that goes inside that normal heat sink and that hole is seven millimeter wide. And on the VZ extruder, we have a four millimeter wide. Uh, that is done because normal configuration is using a, a Bowden tube. So um, what we've done or what we're doing right now is we have made a new heat break. So as you can see, it's smaller so now it can fit inside that extruder like that all right and it's going to be able to uh cool down from the vz extruder so from this guy we're just going to remove that heat break put the new one on like that and uh, we're going to reuse the same um boats that um that are with this guy, but we're gonna use a new adapter plate. And this is gonna be the adapter plate for the VZ print head. And, and what I'm showing you is just for VZ print head. So it's also gonna be compatible with the VZ print head on the rat rig, but yeah, it's not gonna be for uh, other printers, unfortunately, because we absolutely need to have the full aluminum print head to act as a giant cooler and act as a giant uh, heat sink, I mean. So this part here, gonna go on top of the Goliath like that. All right, and we're gonna use the same uh, technique as before. I just didn't remove them, but yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. Reuse those standoffs. And uh, they're not gonna be round. They're probably gonna be hexagon. We're in the making right now. All right. We just remove that. And then we're going to bolt it to that adapter plate. All right, like that. All right, that looks good. And then um, this going to be bolting again, just like the VZ print head right now that we have. So we're gonna bolt it like that. And, and that's cool because this whole part here is gonna be in contact with the top plate. And this is also in contact with that heat break. So the whole heat break will be cooled um, like that inside the top plate as well. And then the VZ extruder will now be able to just slide on that heat break. Uh, it's a little tight, but we want it tight and it's printed. So <laughs> tolerances are not um, super good. Let me just uh, try to push it in a bit more, but you get the point. Um, yeah, it's not going in. I think I have an issue and I separated that heat break because it's just um, not glued right now, but you get the point. So that's going to go on top like that. So that went in just fine. I think it's just a matter of... All right. So yeah, you get the point. So it's gonna go there between the print head and, and, and the VZ extruder. And now we can either keep it air cool or there's gonna be a version that is water cool. There's gonna be water pass inside. Um, it's gonna go all the way up to here and all the way up to here and then another pass right here. So it's gonna flow like that and uh, it's gonna keep that heat break very cool. Even the air cool version should be just enough to do, um, to do it and without any, any fan. So like that again and inside that extruder. And uh, right now, I don't know why it's not going in full all the way, but you get the point. So 
that's gonna be really, really awesome. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna, it's gonna shrink or, or make the whole setup a lot longer. I mean, uh, smaller, that way we're also removing the weight of this guy, but we're also shortening everything so we have a shorter path between the extruder and the hot end and uh, a less lever effect on the printhead for the VZ extruder. So now the next part um, for people who bought the VZ extruder, because right now we only have air cool edition. So if you want to upgrade to um, this configuration and get rid of the, the heatsink, what you're going to have to buy is that adapter plate and that heat break, and that's it. So you're going to have to be, you're going to be able to keep your, your body um, like that. If people want to go, um, if you bought a water cool um, uh, Goliath, then we're going to sell the body um, alone as with the heat break and the uh, adapter plate. So um, every part is going to be able to be uh, purchased separately so you can upgrade your current uh, VZ extruder. So um, don't worry if you bought it, we're going to be able to do a upgrade kit for, for not very expensive. And then we're going to use the same uh, fittings. Uh, they can just bolt right in front here and we use the same fitting. So that is going to be a awesome setup. I can't wait to test it myself. Of course, we're going to test it with uh, just air cool version to see if there's enough cooling. But from our uh, testing, I mean, not testing, but um, simulation, uh, it looks like that's going to work just fine. And don't forget this heat break, this one and this one is just phenomenal at keeping everything on the cold side cold. With that uh, zirconia inside here, it's very, very effective and it works super good. So I'm not afraid that uh, the air cool version of the extruder will just be just fine with everything aluminum on the print head. Everything's gonna run just awesome. So that is next and uh, that's gonna be very exciting. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I enjoyed making it, I, I just like that. And uh, that's going to be a nice uh, presentation stand. What's going to be happening next is instead of um, keeping the VZ extruder alone on itself and then the Goliath alone on itself, what I'll do, I'll keep going on and print the entire print head. <laughs> so there's going to be another video coming on um, soon with the entire print head. And that's going to be a whole presentation that's going to sit in my uh, print room with the entire setup, the print head entirely with the VZ extruder, Goliath and everything. So that is going to be a awesome little toy just to show people when they come to my place. It, it, this is um, the whole setup. So that was it, folks. Um, I hope you enjoyed it on this I wish you all a good night. Goodbye.